A wedding turned expensive divorce turned court case. This is what's going on between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and how in the court of the public eye, Johnny has completely destroyed Amber's case. Stop her from hitting me anymore. The Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial is something everyone has had their eyes on for the last month now. The two are all over the news and everyone on social media has been talking about it to some degree. Johnny Depp is a famous actor who has starred in and won the hearts of many people in many films, especially the Pirates of the Caribbean. So when Amber Heard accused Johnny Depp of being violent, people were beyond shocked and were quick to take Amber's side. Amber Heard, who is also an actress and has starred in several films, joined the Me Too movement after coming out as a victim of DV and spoke about DV a ton. But there was a lot more to this story, and as time has gone on, a lot has been brought to light. I'm going to give you guys a timeline of the relationship, how things unfolded, and how we got to where we are right now and what's going on. In 2009, Johnny and Amber met on set for the film The Rum Diary. They had some chemistry, but they had their own partners at the time. In 2012, they were rumored to have started dating after separating from their previous partners. Amber said her and Johnny started dating around the end of 2011 or the start of 2012, according to court filings. In 2015, the two had a private ceremony for their marriage. Pictures by reporters immediately circulated once it came out that they got married and it seemed that they had this perfect life together. But later in 2016, after one year of marriage, Amber filed for a divorce and accused Johnny of physical abuse. Amber alleged that on May 21st, right before she filed for a divorce, Johnny had thrown a phone directly at her. She even had a restraining order against him. An investigation about this took place Place, but the police spokesperson told people that no crime took place and Johnny denied any such allegations and through his representatives said that Amber only did it to get a premature financial resolution. The divorce settlement came out to an outstanding $7 million, which Amber promised that she donated to charity, specifically the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. In 2017, the divorce was finalized and you would think that it would have ended there, but Johnny Depp lost his reputation and position in several films like Fantastic Beasts 3 and The Pirates of the Caribbean. People at the time were on Amber's side, but were starting to question a lot of the things that she had come out about, but at the time people were still very much on Amber's side. But later on in 2018, Amber wrote an op-ed in The Washington Post. There, she refers to herself as a figure representing DV, and she wanted other people that had similar experiences to be able to come out themselves with their own stories just as she had. In 2019, Johnny ended up suing Amber Heard for $50 million for defamation after she posted that op-ed in the Washington Post. Though his name wasn't directly stated, it was implied since there was no other partner before Johnny who she called abusive. Later, Amber filed a countersuit against him for defaming her as well when Johnny's lawyer released statements that her allegations were fake. Now, to get into the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation suit, the trial didn't start until April 11th, 2022. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, why is that? Since we're talking about this lawsuit having happened in 2019, why is the trial just now starting this year? That is because the court in London continuously dismissed Johnny's defamation suit, or at least his right to appeal. In this trial, Amber was favored by the jury and the judge. So now that the trial has actually started, here in the States, in Virginia, both sides have been going at each other like crazy. And also the internet is playing a major part in all of this as there are so many opinions and there is a ton of people against Amber Heard. Amber's lawyers have called Johnny a monster and said that he was planning to turn this place into a soap opera and said that it was going to be revealed that Johnny Depp wasn't really who his fans thought he was, while Johnny's lawyers put it in another way that Amber was a manipulative and psychotic liar who knew that her accusations would ruin Johnny's reputation and career. Now, in terms of Johnny and Amber's testifying accounts of what happened between them during their relationship, they had different accounts of their relationship. Johnny revealed that the real abuser in the relationship was Amber, who started verbally abusing him, calling him names, and insulting him. These verbal arguments, according to Johnny, would escalate to violence, where she would throw objects at him or shove him. And as I was approaching the door to my office, 
Um, Miss Heard ran out of the master bedroom or our bedroom and uh, started uh, just throwing wild punches at, uh, at at me at the back of my head, at the side of my head, at my anything that she could connect with. As I'm approaching the door, suddenly. I'm just getting cl clobbered from behind, and and one's natural primal instinct is to is to kind of duck and cover. So I ducked and covered, but they didn't stop. And a big thing that has come up a ton is his of drugs, to which he gave the reason for that was because of her verbal and the instigations to have fights to escape the arguments. Amber told the story differently. She testifies that Johnny was abusing his body with alcohol and drugs, and he'd call her names, among other things, and described a time where he beat her so bad that her nose had broken. That I had a broken nose. Do you recall giving that testimony, Ms. Heard? Yes, exactly. So you had a broken nose, right? That's absolutely what I thought. And you told the story that you had two black eyes after this incident, right? I did have two black eyes after that incident. And you testified that you also had a busted lip from when Mr. Depp punched you. That is uh, correct. You appeared on the James Corden show the day after this alleged incident, right? I did. And that was December 16th, 2015? Yes, that's correct. Let's please pull up a clip of your appearance from that evening. If we could, Plaintiff's Exhibit 35. People were feeling like the photos that she had provided of herself in terms of injuries she said she had and videos that she appeared in did not line up with the story she was telling. You did take pictures of your alleged injuries on after December 15th, correct? And you showed those to the jury? I sure did, yes. Okay. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 516, which is already in evidence. You testified that this is a picture of you after the incident on December 15th, 2015, right? It was. They both had witnesses testify in the defamation suit, starting with Amber's witnesses who were her friends, people who worked for her, and her sister, Whitney. All of them never saw the actual abuse happening, but they could see that Amber had cuts, scratches, and bruises on her and that Johnny could be heard swearing and yelling in a very violent manner. Whitney told the court that her sister Amber Heard went from being a cheerful person into being a shell of her old self. According to her, Johnny was a kind and generous person when sober, but when he was drinking, he became violent. In cross-examination, it was revealed that at one point she did joke to Johnny to hit her sister. In 2013, you were actually joking with Mr. Depp about hitting your sister, right? Regrettably, over a text message, yes. You were encouraging him to hit her? I was not literally encouraging him to hit her, but you were joking about it. Regrettably, yes. Another witness, Raquel Pennington, friend and neighbor of Amber Heard, described the signs of abuse on Amber's body, but never saw Johnny abusing Amber. When asked if Amber would fake bruises with makeup, Raquel denied it and told the court that it was the opposite. Amber needed to use makeup to cover up bruises. Her makeup artist, Inglacius, testified that she used heavy contour to hide the bruises on Amber's face. Amber's witnesses all had one thing in common to say, and that was that Johnny was heavily involved in drug use and that he got overly jealous when Amber would have films with other male co-stars. Now, of course, Johnny's witnesses had different things to say. Johnny's sister, Christy Dabrowski, testified that when he and Amber got together, he had become reclusive. She also brought up insults Amber made against Johnny, calling him an old fat man and being visibly disgusted when Dior wanted to do a campaign with him. I had just had a meeting with Dior and that, you know, they were interested in him. Um, her, her reaction to that was she was in disbelief and sort of disgust um, because she said, Dior, why, why would Dior want to do business with you? They're about class and they're about style and you don't have style. You know, so it was a the insulting kind of taking away that one moment, you know, that insult is there. 
You know, I've, 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 seen, I've seen the insults uh, m multiple times, actually. A surprising account was made when Amber's ex-assistant, Kate James, who worked for Amber from 2012 to 2015, testified that Amber had irrational rage and would go ballistic over the smallest things and send abusive texts to her in the early hours of the morning. Sean Bett, Johnny's head of security, testified that Johnny and Amber had an extremely volatile relationship and would have regular heated fights, but it would never go physical. Another account was given by Amber's psychologist, Dr. Shannon Curry, who evaluated her for 12 hours. The results were that Amber suffered from borderline personality disorder and hysteronic personality disorder. She concluded her testimony that Amber was very sophisticated in minimizing personal problems and would rather externalize the blame. Johnny's witnesses said that both sides were verbally abused towards each other, but in terms of physical it was Amber who would instigate it. Another point in the case was about the $7 million donation to charity, the ACLU and the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. An ACLU representative testified that they had not received the full $3.5 million as of yet, even though she said on live television and in media articles that she had already donated the $7 million. How much has Ms. Heard paid directly to the ACLU? Um, I, that would be $350,000 paid directly. During her testimony, Amber Heard also made a slip mentioning of Kate Moss, Johnny's ex-wife, saying that Johnny had allegedly pushed her off the stairs. So Johnny's lawyers called on her to testify. Any other, I don't hesitate, I don't wait, I just in my head instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs and I swung at him and all of my relationship to date with Johnny I hadn't landed a blow now as a result of this trial I mentioned it a little bit earlier but Amber has been facing a ton of backlash somebody that was so supported by the internet and by so many people when she first came out about all this stuff is now facing an extremely different response to everything that has come out about her there is an extreme difference in just her Obviously, once it was revealed that Amber's stories weren't adding up to the pictures she showed in court, people were quick to put up justice for Johnny on Twitter, TikTok, and other social medias. Her appearance in Aquaman 2 was also reduced to 10 minutes due to the extreme negative publicity that came with the trial. The fact that she called herself a victim of DV when so much has been revealed on her end was what fueled a lot of rage on the internet. People who used to support her immediately went to go support Johnny in the ongoing defamation suit in hopes that the justice system would bring him justice. There won't be much to know until after the trial ends to see the outcome, but this is pretty much a timeline of the events as of now, how we got here, and how things are going. With this trial having gone on for the last month, it can be hard to keep up with how we got here or the details of what's happened and things that have been said on both sides. And I kind of just wanted to give a little bit of background as to how everything got to be how it is as of right now. So I want to know if you guys have been paying attention to the trial. It's obviously a very heavy situation. It's hard to read some of the things that have come out and it can be very triggering for a lot of people. So I definitely have to say that everyone should take care of yourselves. If you guys are reading into this and watching this trial and paying attention to it definitely take a couple of deep breaths i hope you guys are doing good i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye guys